Hello, I'm Jason Ross, reporting to you from the Schiller Institute New Paradigm for Civilization Conference, uh, which is just wrapping up here in Frankfurt, Germany. This is the fourth in a series of conferences held by the Schiller Institute on this theme, and this one was really phenomenal. Building on the topics covered in the previous conferences, this one adopted the main theme of the economic fight around Glass-Steagall and around the political necessity to immediately shift direction away from a destruction of civilization, which is the direction that the British oligarchy is pushing things, towards the implementation of Glass-Steagall, towards development projects, and one of the specific topics taken up, a couple of them, included the strategic defense of Earth. When President Reagan adopted LaRouche's SDI outlook in the 1980s, the idea wasn't only to defend the United States and Russia from each other's missiles. The idea was also that in developing new technologies to make that possible, the spin-offs would provide a massive economic boost. Now that never happened, and today's anti-missile systems are just missiles that hit missiles. Uh, there was a Russian presenter who spoke here about the proposals Russia is making for international cooperation on this front, which, if we do this the right way, instead of being one more cost to be borne as part of a global recovery, the planetary defense of Earth is actually an economic boon. That if we're developing fusion for it, if we're developing new types of lasers and particle beams as possible one method for deflecting asteroids, the technologies will be part of an economic recovery which we sorely need. We heard from speakers from various places around the world during this conference, both on the experience of Japan some decades ago, uh, what's occurring in Greece and in Cyprus right now, what's been occurring in Ukraine since the privatization uh, began after their, shortly after their independence. And what it all adds up to is that the paradigm, the neoliberal paradigm that's pushed by the IMF is over. It's an obviously failed paradigm. The time for a new paradigm is now, and these conferences have been instrumental in laying out for a world audience what that new paradigm ought to be like. What should we be pursuing as, a, as people, as a civilization? One aspect of that is the conference, excuse me, the concert that we had last night, uh, where the, there were Verdi pieces performed as well as Mozart's Requiem. It's really hard to say much about that except to urge you to, urge you to watch it, that putting everything together, we really covered all the bases here scientific, economic, political, strategic, cultural, to really lay out where do we need to go, and that is really what's needed. So use this material to strengthen your own mind and your ability to get these changes implemented, because we really do not have a lot of time, and we need your help.